Paul and Silas also tell us that they show us how to respond by focusing outward rather than inward. You notice how they responded to this tragedy? The moment of crisis would have been a great opportunity for Paul and Silas to get angry at God or to go into survival mode and just think, think about themselves above others. But instead, they, fa- they stay focused on the mission they've been given by Christ. And as a result, the man who was keeping them captive found Jesus. Folks, listen, we live in a culture right now where most of the messages we hear pushed our way are to think about ourselves, right? You get that? You hear that? I mean, let's speak our truth. Let's take me time. Let's, you deserve this. You, you need this because you deserve this, right? Much of our cultural narrative speaking right, right now is about our rights, there's this song my seven-year-old daughter uh, heard, and it, we were listening to it on, I think it was the Princess, I can't, Disney Princess Pandora, uh, some station. It's the bane of my existence, basically. Okay, so she was listening to this, and I'm in there trying to block it out, but just can't. And here are the words of this this uh, song. I think it's from Tangled, which haven't seen, but Rapunzel, right? The Disney Rapunzel story. Here are the words. She's a girl with the best in- intentions. He's a man of his own invention. It's so funny. She looked out the win- of the window. He walked out the door because she's in the window, you know, because she's Rapunzel. He walked out the door, but she followed him. And he said, what are you looking for? And here's what she said. And they repeat this thing like 35 times. Here's, here's the chorus. She said, I want something that I want, something that I tell myself I need, something that I want, and I need everything I see. What a terrible message to teach our kids, right? But this is why suffering and persecution opens the door for us to shine brightly, right? When the prevailing message of culture says, think only about yourself, and instead you sacrificially think about others, the contrast of that is made unmistakably clear. And that's what we're called to as believers. Paul was so in tune with Christ and so trusting of his Savior that his first reaction in this earth-shattering moment was to think about who? The life of the jailer who was unjustly jailing, uh, keeping him captive. And this jailer knew it. And it says he fell on his knees before Paul and he said, what must I do to be saved? And in that moment, Paul was able to lead that man in his whole household to faith. So in moments of crisis, instead of us just going into survival mode and thinking about us, instead we need to ask the Lord, how do you want to use this moment for your glory?